Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of My Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It is the morning of day 55. Um, so I went to, over to the uh, Horde base last night, got a bunch of iron, like, I don't know, like 15,000 or something like that. So we've got, um, we got tips going, we've got casings just started, so we don't have a lot right yet, but we will have soon enough. These guys are burning through like crazy here. Uh, let's start whatever we can here as far as ammo goes. What I want to also do is get as much uh, brass casings as I can get going moving. We go to regular coil rounds. We can definitely get a lot more of those. Now, uh, you don't have... you got 15 minutes. What do you got on you? 59. Yeah, so how many brass casings can we get going here? 2,000. Let's get 1,000 going in here. Another 1,000 going in here. Because I'm going to definitely need those. We're out of clay, so today is going to definitely have to be a treasure-seeking day today. The best way to get clay. Um, now I could go ahead and blow it up. Let's actually just go ahead and open up all of this ammo first. Well, that's not too bad. 618 tips, 1,000 gunpowder. So we want to get as much 7.62 moving at some point as we can. Right now, the coil ammo is more important. Uh, let's just drop this stuff in here for now. We have to go back over to the Horde base and do repairs today. Uh, I'll take you with me. Got to leave some of that here, I think. Uh, yeah, because we don't have any here. Leave that much there, I guess. And we don't need the sand. We're going to leave that here. I'm going to have to take the steel. Okay, let's go back over to the Horde base. Now, I got two... Mark two turrets done here. We're not going to install those quite yet. We're not quite at the point where we absolutely have to use them. Actually, let's take them over with us, though. And they will use the regular um, 762 ammo, this stuff here. I'm going to take a couple stacks of those with me. We've got a bit of coil. Actually, we should open this up as well. Because I'm not going to... I was thinking about going with the steel jacketed ammo, but... I mean, I got, once again, it's all resources, so all that's got to go to coil ammo for actually fighting the horde. And then I'll just use the brass ammo for the, uh, um, for the turrets. Oops, I don't know why I was clicking on that guy. If you click on A up here and hit the, uh, A button, it goes faster. I don't know why I was clicking on the ammo down there. Oh, man. Okay, um, coil shotgun rounds. We definitely need coil shotgun rounds, though. Do I have... I could... Hmm. Do we need to make a coil shotgun round again? Coil shell. I mean, we could go with a coil slug. Does that do... I don't need a breaching. I think the coil slug is like the armor piercing version. What is it? Three bullet tips and an iron? Or is the shell is buckshot? Iron, coal battery, so it's a little less lead this way. And we could use... Let's grab those out. Let's grab out our... Oh, iron. I wonder what the hell I was looking in there for. Iron. And then we're going to open up... Grab you... Right? Yeah, because we'll get the regular stuff off of these guys. That's probably a more efficient way for me to do it. I don't have to drive all the way up to the desert. Once again, like if it's a horde every seven days, it's not an issue. You just make one trip and get all your resources in one day. But I might have a horde today. So I, I just can't, I can't risk driving all the way out there. Okay, you go in there. No, I don't think I'm going to have a horde today. 213. We'll get that started as well. And let's see if we can get some more of this going as well here. You. Seven six two. Another 320. Yeah, we might get lucky and not have a horde today. Small favors. So we've got enough tips it looks like. It's casings that we're really behind on. It's not too shabby. I think we're looking pretty good here. 
Okay, I gotta grab these because I think when I was down in the mine, I think um, something got into the mine during the Horde night. Because there's a bunch of uh, frames that are broken down there. Don't need anything out of there. So tomorrow the trader restocks. I don't need anything out of here. Let's kill the guys down below here. Oh, look at you all. I still have these, eh? See that? You know what that's called? It's called a Molotov. What it does is it just saves me time and energy. Oops. Just gonna watch you burn out. See ya. Alright, let's get over to the Horde base. I must have killed like 30 or 40 zombies around here last night, and the wolf, and a whole bunch of other stuff. There was like... So much shit here last night when I got here. Okay. Um, first things first. Let's get rid of all this goop. Yeah, so you know, I don't know if I need another fallback position. Last night went well, being able to just get out of here and, like, wander around and kill them, like, outside the base. I'll probably do that again. That was kind of well worth it. All right, now, um, put the turrets in here. You can go in there, put the junk that we want to bring home with us in there. Those guys can go in here. Those are for a horde. Might as well keep that here. Those guys are going home. Uh, that should probably go home too. Gonna need the steroid shots at home and then ammo. Um, not a lot, but we'll put what we have in there. Cool. So we got 360 of these. Let's bring that down. All right, repair-wise. Let's actually let me just get all these uh, blocks repaired real quick here. So on the outside of the front here, very little damage on the plates. Like almost no damage out here. They did all the damage to the hatches, but because they were standing and getting electrocuted, they weren't able to do enough oops, damage really to any of this stuff to Like, yeah, like, barely anything. It was just the hatch that took the damage, right? This one here. So that's good news for us. Now, this damage is from me. Oh, hey. That was from me. Nothing along here. Did he survive that? I don't think so. Did he? Oh, he did. Didn't survive that one. So how much did they do here? Like 5,000. Yeah, they still punch down a little. Oh, this one took a lot of damage. So they're punching down right here when they get bottlenecked. Yeah, can you get the fuck out of my way here? Bring it in, Texie. As Glock would say, choppity chop, bitch. All right, uh... That done. That done. Oh yeah, so there's a little bit of damage to this. Still though, not enough to really really warrant me worrying. Nothing to the plate. A little bit there. We're going to update, I think, a lot of these stairs today. If we got some major demolishers going off on this part, we could uh, have problems. But I want to get this all to steel, I think, first. Alright, so for the most part... it I This was probably the minimal amount of damage they've done in the past few hordes. So, uh, that worked out really well. I think the harder the blocks get... So going from regular, like from concrete to steel, from steel to stainless steel... I don't know whether it's just because they have got so many hit points they spend less time banging on them or maybe they're just more resistant to damage but the damage is very minor overall like like maybe like you know three to five hundred each on these blocks out here I can get behind there now can I okay cool that's steel behind there I mean I've made a few update errors I upgraded a few blocks I didn't want to but for the most part 
We're pretty good here. I think we're ready for the next horde. And we're not getting it today, which is awesome. Yesterday was a good resource slash kind of going out day, which was awesome. We got that done. Uh, get some more iron tonight. I gotta have to find another iron mine though. The one below us is kind of played out. I might dig down to bedrock like I said I was gonna do. Uh, what do we got left for steel? A little bit. So let's do this part of the stairs up here. I think the rest is pretty good. Like nominal damage in a lot of these. It'll change once the demons start showing up. Like they'll start doing lots of damage to stuff. But right now we're still pretty good here. But the bonus about, like I said, the bonus about this base is you can just shut the doors. Lights take any damage? Doesn't look like it. You can just shut these if you don't want to face them. Just close the freaking doors. And just kill whoever comes to this door here. You know? Yeah, no, take any, didn't take any damage. I think we're good. Anything under here? A little bit under there. Nothing there. What about between here? Nothing between there. And nothing. Oh, a little bit between there. It might be something here then, too. Nope. Looks like it's pretty clean. Alright, well, I feel pretty good about that. I, like, almost no damage on the roof, and I'm pretty sure it's probably from the junk turret firing. What are we looking at here? 123. I'm going to hold on to that. Actually, 149. I'm going to hold on to that. Alright. So, put this away. Kill the wolf while we were out there. So put that stuff in there. Just toss you in there for now. Uh, I should probably do this while we're here. So, down here... Yeah, see... Some of these have taken damage. I don't want to change them away from frames because uh, frames are easier for them to knock out and then they can't get up the stairs, right? Yeah, see, they, they took this part out right here. So a lot of these blocks were missing. I didn't knock those out. So I'm going to have to fill this in as best I can. I guess I'm going to have to make my iron mine elsewhere. I mean, I knew this day was coming, right? I just didn't expect them to, like, after those couple of hordes, like, we had a crap ton of spider monkeys last horde, too. Which I think is the issue, is the spider monkeys get in. You know, and I don't know how they glitch through. I just, I seriously don't, but they do. Enough to cause enough damage. Let's just start filling some of this in anyway. Just filling it in with like slightly harder blocks. Because hopefully if they start breaking stuff down here I might hear them. Maybe. I don't know. Alright, that's part of it done. I, I'll worry about this later. We, I mean, I was... I said we we're going to go out and... Fuck. I said I was going to go out and uh, dig up some treasures because we need the uh, clay. So let's go do that. Uh, but let's leave... Let's leave you guys here. Actually, take that with us, because we're going to need that. Not all of it, though. Leave a little bit here, just in case we need it here. Sand can come back with us. That should be good. Alright, first treasure. Um, let's go up here. All right, well, here we go. Treasure number one. Right? It's here somewhere. Right there. Yeah, I hear you. Come on, bring it in for some love. I right, just dig this shit. Yeah, there it is. Took me a while to get here, but I wasn't really concerned. Because we need the clay really bad, because we had zero. 
All right, well, let's see if we can pick this. Well, I have to say, I've, that's the most unlucky I've ever been with lockpicks. Four grand, huh? God, it's garbage. I gotta say, the treasures in darkness fall. Sometimes you get good stuff, and sometimes you're just so bad it wasn't even worth coming out to get it. But, that being said, we needed the iron, we needed the clay, so... Good thing we found this one. Alright, we got 10,000 iron. That's pretty good. Let's go to the next one. Where are we going now? Uh, Some place that's close. Maybe Stefan's? Looks like he's up on the mountain, though. Yeah, up on the mountain, probably. Alright, well... Let's foot it. Has anyone ever built their house on top of a mountain? I'd be interested to know. For me, it's like it's just... It's too far away from everything. I mean, I guess it's fine if you're just like... You want to build like a cool looking house and stuff, but... It's just too far away from everything to like... For me to warrant doing it. I gotta kill you, because you're gonna show up at the friggin... Whoop. Treasure site. Yep, definitely not getting the truck up here. Alright, let's make short work of this guy. What are you doing? Oh, shit! <laughs> he came in through the hole over there! Oh, man, I thought he was going to come down through here. Oh, it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Oh, that's so awesome. There it is, finally. Alright, what do we got here for clay? Oh, a couple stacks, that's not bad. We can, I, gotta, I think we got enough time to do one more, too. Yeah, definitely faster than lockpicks. Oh, for nothing. See what I mean? If I didn't need the clay, you know? Come on, lady, I'm not having a good day. Uh, is this a smooth sail down? I don't know, let's find out. Where's the truck? Let's see. Can it actually put you down anywhere? Ooh, let's see if we can get over this hill. Yep, not bad. There's our house. Oh, there's a tree, too. Uh, apparently I gotta cut that tree down. Alright, now, um... Where's the next one? It's over here. Excuse me. Whoops. Oh man, I got I got I got paint work to do when I get home. Let's go this side. Whoop. Sorry about that. We just passed by a construction site too. Ooh, don't want to go in there. Uh, let's go this way. There you are. Keep forgetting to hit spacebar to uh, hit the uh, emergency break. Yeah, you're done. Um, start here. It's probably in the southwest, but we'll start on this side. Work our way that way. So I think what I'm going to do with this bunch of iron we just picked up... Oh my god, another fucking zombie. Is I'm going to, um... I mean, I did fire a shotgun. But with Feral Sans on, it doesn't really matter. Because they can, um... 
They'll detect me even without the shotgun sound. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to use some of this iron to make a shit ton of, uh, forged iron. Because we need that to make an irrigation system. And we got to get the crops up and running sooner rather than later. So i got to figure out what situation we're going to do. Oh my gods, please stop. Big boy. It's getting closer to the end of the day, too, so... I don't know if we're going to have a, uh... Wandering Horde. We had it at the end of the day last time, which means it'll probably be this in the evening tonight. There it is. All right, what are we looking at for clay now? We should have at least three stacks, three and a bit, right? Oh yeah, three and a half. Pretty nice. Let's just make sure we got enough for three and a half. That should last a little while anyway. All right, let's break into this guy. All right, there we go. What do we got this time? Shit. Well, we used that to repair stuff with, but... Oh, man, really? What else can we just scrap? Yeah, I mean... That's three treasures, and handful of coin and not much I mean we needed the clay still but like I don't know I just feel like I'm getting ripped off now all right do we have time for one more probably I don't hear crickets yet back that way Oop. before we do that let's just uh spend a couple seconds get some more iron nice uh-oh, better not be in the lake. Uh, I think it's in the lake. Ooh, do I want to take the time and dig under there? I don't know if I do. Sorry, man, no mustache is allowed. Uh, so that's whose? Sarah's? Taylor's is in the city. Jennifer's is in the city. Got one right by the trader. Excuse me. I don't know why it is, but this thing feels like it goes so much more faster, like, fa like faster across country than it does in the city. I know it's not the case, but it just totally feels that way. Thread the needle. There we go. Alright, well, let's take this car apart. Oh, of course. Ooh, battle axe. Nobody. Oh, there it is, right there. Well, that was easy. And the survey says... Fuck, are you serious? <laughs> oh, man, I'm just going to scrap this. 225 iron, I'd rather have the iron, I think. Oh, I guess if it was going to be that easy... Wasn't going to give it to me for free. Alright, we've got two more really close to each other down here. So let's see if we can knock them both off real fast. Whoa, don't hit anything. How far up the hill is it? That's the question. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Uh, last one was in the southeast. I have no idea where this one will be. Oh, just fuck right off. Unless you got good loot. Nope. You know what? Let's grab some of these while we're here.
Thanks for your help. Appreciate it. Oh, iron. Well, this may very well be the last one then. There it is. Well, that was easy. Survey says. Oh, God. Right, I think I'm done with these guys. I can't, I, I can't do these treasure chests anymore. We got one okay, and the three other ones were just crap. Four other ones were crap. Well, the one good thing is we're starting to one-shot nodes now. So that's a bonus today. All that digging really helped our uh, Miner 69er. I wonder if I can kill this guy with a pickaxe. I don't feel like stopping. I hear ya. Apparently I can. Alright, well we got four stacks of iron today. I'm not gonna push my luck on this hole anymore. We do have one more treasure right next door. I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but let's just get it off the map, and then I'm just going to get rid of the rest of the treasures, I think. I think early game, it's probably worth doing these, but, like, at this part of the game, the amount of time, like, unless you need clay, the amount of time it takes you to dig these up, for what you get out of it, you could spend that time actually making what you get out of it, you know? So you really don't, like the handful of ammo that I got. I gotta hurry here. I gotta cheat this one. Where are you? Oh, right in front of me. There's Nightfall. At least Feral Sense is off. Right here, guys. Yeah, at least Feral Sense is off during the night. Alright, let me just mine this last one up and then we'll call it a call it an episode. Just put my junk turret down to cover me while I do this. Because the zombies come up on me so fast. It's not so bad during the day when they're only jogging, but the uh, the run speed at night's a little higher, so. Alright, what are we getting here? Yeah, that was definitely the last one. Come on, buddy. Thank you for showing up, and please have hazmat. That would totally be worth it if you did. You did. What do you know? Fuck off, B. I ain't staying around for you. All right, well, I'm going to end this episode by driving home. Uh, hopefully I don't get into too many accidents with terrain. And then tomorrow, or tonight, I'm going to make a bunch of forged iron, a bunch of steel. Uh, so we have some stuff for the base. Finish making the ammo that we set to go today. Um, and then consider whether or not I'm going to go ahead and make that second horde base. I probably will. Because once we get radiated behemoths and succubus, um, we could end up with some base issues. So if I have a second place to go back to... Where, where the hell are we here? My town? No, this is a. Uh... Why am I going this way? I'm following the yellow line. See? ADHD, man. I'm looking at the wrong damn thing. Anyway, um, yeah, with, once we get Succubus and Radiator Behemoths, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, and I don't know whether the Horde base will hold up to that. Now, I think, I think if anything, the Succubi will be the hard part. But if we can get the um, junk turret on the roof with the, uh, I think it's the, I can't remember, it's the laser battery or something like that. It, it actually stops demonic regeneration. We can get that up there with a bunch of Mark II, uh, Mark II turrets. Then I think we should probably be okay. I watched uh, Guns, Nerds, and Steel play his last episode and he had three junk turrets up on top with a bunch of Mark II turrets. 
and he was able to clear them pretty pretty easily. I was actually shocked. I'm like, yeah, they're going to tear a hole through your roof. And then he went up on the roof and they were all dead. I'm like, wow, okay. I stand corrected. Junk turrets with darts and Mark II turrets are more than enough to handle the, uh, the succubi on, on the night. And because we're, with us, we're only um, on 24 instead of 64 zombies, because I can't, I can't run 64 zombies on my machine. It'll melt down. But uh, we should have no problem with it, I don't think. But we'll see. All right, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.